Hello, welcome to OS Engine tutorial episode 47. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download image uh, thumbnails from uh, OS Engine. So the idea is that if you um, don't need the original data, sometimes if you just want to look at what the image look like, um, you just want to have a quick look of the image uh, preview without having to download the original data because the original raw data might be uh, pretty big so it might take a long time to download the data if you just want to have a quick look so it might be useful to just download the thumbnails and then take a quick look and then make some decision what kind of uh, images you want uh, and then you can go ahead to download the uh, original data with that being said uh, let's get started so first of all uh, we are going to download the notebook example we are going to use for this uh, tutorial you can go to the GMAP uh, homepage and then from there you can click uh, the lab uh, sidebar scroll down to find number 47 uh, so this is uh, the notebook we're going to use uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward you can also just open in Colab to run this one in Google Colab without having to um, install anything on your computer uh, in this uh, demo I'm going to show you step by step so I'm going to download the original uh, notebook you can click upper right corner to go to the github repo and then click examples notebooks scroll down to find number 47 and then click the lower button right click save as I'll download this one to a computer I'm going to download this one to my downloads folder and once you are in the downloads folder then you can open this one so I'm going to show you here uh, already within the download folder next uh, then you need to activate your conda environment where uh, gmap is installed so activate the uh, ge and then jupyter notebook open this one downloads double click okay so this is the notebook we're going to use um, this is a, a simple and straightforward uh, tutorial so first of all uh, basically this one has two uh, sections so first is to show you how to download one single image thumbnail from one image but if you have an image collection they have a lot of uh, images that you want to download all at once you can also do that as well so let's get started first um, you need to import the libraries and then we can uh, create an interactive map next we're going to show some uh, sample data so in this demo we're going to use uh, the uh, lens set data lens set uh, 8 and we also set up a point uh, if you can see from this one here the longitude and latitude so this one is within uh, california san francisco so you can see here this is one single image First, I want to uh, let's go through this uh, call block in here, right? So we have a lens set eight, a surface reflectance image collection. Then we filter by this uh, location. So we're try trying to find out all the images that cover this location, lens set eight. And then we sort this one by cloud cover. So if you sort this one by cloud cover, uh, we're going to get uh, the one with least cloud coverage so uh, good images and then we limit this one to just 10 images um, if you if you want all images you can uh, remove this one but for this demo we're just going to use 10 images within these 10 images we also select the first one so the idea is that I want to show you how to download the thumbnail just for this image and also how to download the thumbnail for all the 10 images within this image collection in order to download the thumbnail you need to actually set the visualization so this is how we're going to visualize you want to make sure that uh, you want to figure out how you want to visualize before you download the thumbnails because it can be in this case it's going to be force color composite right uh, b6 b5 and uh, b4 next we need to set the output uh, file path so uh, in this case we're going to download this one to the downloads folder and we're going to use the name uh, lenset.png uh, and we can execute 
So the next one is to execute the function. So we have two. The first one is called uh, Im get image thumbnail, and then we pass in the parameters. It's very important, right? To, uh, if you don't understand what to put within this uh, function, you can hit uh, Shift Tab on your keyboard to bring up the uh, the two tip. And so in here we have a couple of parameters. So the first one is the image we want to download, and the out image is the 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 PNG or JPEG. The visualization is how we want to visualize. So this one comes from from here. And you can also set the dimension. So the dimension is the how many pixels, uh, width and height. So by default, it's going to be 500. And also the reason. So if you if you don't need to download the entire lens set thing, you can also have a small uh, a rectangle, for example, you can have a reason, something like this. Uh, it's up to you. And the last one is the format. So in this case, uh, you can either download as a PNG or as a JPEG. So these are the only two formats. Uh, available so you can see here the default is PNG so we're going to use the PNG uh, first it run uh, it should take only a few seconds now you have this one in here so you can click uh, take a look right away so and then you can visualize this one inspect this one on your local computer see whether uh, it's a good image or not you can also for example let me if I go back to uh, you can change the bank combination so if I just want let's say uh, uh, force color composite so I can have to uh, 5 and then 4 3 we'll execute again uh, you see this time we're going to get the uh, near infrared uh, force color composite so let me open this one again now you see in here so this is uh the png format the background is like a uh, transparent if you use jpeg uh, it's going to um have the black background next uh, i'm going to show you oh you can also load the data the uh, load the image directly and show on the notebook so you can call this function called show image and this is the file pass to the image that we use so we can directly open using uh, image viewer on your computer or you can just call this function to show the image directly within Jupyter notebook okay so that's for uh, downloading one single image thumbnail so the next one is to show you how to download all the thumbnails for all the Im uh, images within an image collection so uh, first we need to set the output folder right so again we're going to save this one to the downloads uh, folder and very similar to the uh, get image thumbnail this one is get uh, image collection thumbnails and similarly you can pass in an image collection and also at the output directory how you want to visualize also the dimension uh, format you can change the format if you want there are also two additional uh, parameters like uh, the function above you can set the reason okay uh, the reason you can also set the the name so in this case if you we, we want to download 10 images right if you don't provide these names it's going to by default use the system id you can also provide at least some names so you can provide 10 names for example uh image one image two image three uh, you don't have to but if you really want to customize the names you can the last one is called verbals uh it's basically trying to show you especially if you have a, a large a number of images uh, it might take a while so uh, it show you like the status of the uh, command okay so if you set verbals to two uh, by default uh, you're going to print out like what well, we told that we have 10 images and now it's downloading the old image right so if you go to your downloads folder now you should see 10 images right now download to the computer so the name the file name is by default using the system ID. So this is the system system ID of the uh, lens image. Then you can open right, and you can scroll down, uh, scroll, and you uh, the uh, right arrow on your keyboard to actually look at the images. This time we're using the the JPEG format. As you can see from here, we have the black background. If you don't want the black background, you need to use the, the PNG format. But uh, the PNG format is going to be, uh, the file size is going to be much larger compared to the JPEG. 
if you want i can come back to here i can change this one to png and then i can run again open this one come back and you can also compare the um the file size right so if the png is uh, 358 uh, kb and for jpeg it's only 75 uh, five something so roughly almost five times larger so png is much larger if you change your dimension the dimension can be uh much larger if you want a larger number so uh, but for our demo in here i think this is uh, sufficient so it's uh pretty clear in here so for png you don't have the black background so it's transparent and you can zoom in right at least give you a kind of overview um, because in Earth Engine, you if you want if you're trying to uh, add individual layers to uh, the map, uh, it might take some time. And but this provides you a quick way to inspect the image quality. Uh, you can also actually download the image thumbnail and you can create some uh, animation if you want to. So you can download a bunch of uh, images and then use that to create. Uh, GF animation. Uh, there's also uh, one thing you can do, but keep that in mind because these are all the um, the lane set uh, things. They are not. They might not necessary necessarily always the same size, so it might change uh, slightly. Just want to uh, you to be aware. So if you just want to create animations, you might want to have a, a reason, basically a rectangular reason. So that all the files will be exactly the file the same size. If you look at from here, they are they vary because the the, the footprint uh, changes uh, slightly. So just uh, take in mind. Okay, so uh, that's all for this uh, tutorial. If you enjoy this uh, video, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.